Hello. At some point, you're going to buy a new car, a used car, possibly get a house, or even refi a house. If you're going to do any of those, you probably need to know how to use a loan amortization schedule. A lot easier than it sounds. I downloaded this from Microsoft's website. And here's the really good news. If you go to my blog post that I've already made public, there is the URL. You can also get to this from YouTube in the description. I have everything about loan amortization, including this video, but also the file that I'm about to use in Excel. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Excel file. So this is on my blog post for you to download. I'm going to do a car note, tweak the car note, and then come and do a mortgage. So you're out looking for a new car. The loan amount is whatever you need to finance after a trade-in or after a down payment if you put one down. Let's keep this simple, 24,000. Let's make the interest rate 6.75. I'm gonna go four years to start off. We'll come back and tweak that in a second. I'm gonna make 12 payments, one payment every month. And the loan control semicolon will put in today's date. I really don't care what date you put in there. Watch what happens when I press enter. So I filled in all five of the fields in gray. Look over to the right hand side in column I. There's your monthly payment, 571.93, 48 months. After 48 months, you'll have paid $3,452.65. If I look in the loan amortization table down below, payment one, has the day's date. So I'm going to change the date in E7. I'm just making this up. March 1, 2019. Over in C12, it's March 1, 2019. So this was already put together by the people from Microsoft. All you need to do is download it from my blog post and you have to fill in those five numbers right there. Just so you know this, uh, there's the beginning balance. Your first payment, scheduled payment should be the same. Total payment. That is the amount of money that went towards paying off the car note of 24000 That is the interest you paid on that very first payment. The more payments you make throughout the life of the loan, the interest should be going down and it is. And so your last payment, payment number 48, almost all of it goes towards principal and very little goes to interest. And there you go. Let's tweak this. Let's say you went to your credit union. Credit union says 6.75. We can beat that. They're going to give you 2.9. Your scheduled payment in column I should go down from 571 and definitely your total interest should go down. Let's see if that's true. They did. I'm going to undo one time. So there's a 6.75 and then I'm going to redo. That was control Z, control Y. Let's tweak it some more. Let's say you can't afford 530.16. So instead of four years, just take it out to five years. Your payment went down. Of course, the amount of interest you're paying will go up from four years to five years. So 430. And there is five years. If you scroll down, I should now have 60 payments. Six, 60 payment is five years times 12. So there's that. Let's go to a house note now. I'm making these numbers up. The house you want is $285,000. Interest rate, I'm going to leave it at 2.9. 30 years. And that's it. You'll pay $1,186.26 a month for that $285,000 house at 2.9% interest. Watch this. I'm going to change the 30 years to 15. So I know my scheduled payment is definitely going to go up, 
But watch how much interest you save. There you go, 30 again, 142, 15, 66. How about that? Anyway, one last thing, let's go back to 30 years. A lot of people have a 30 year mortgage. Let's say your payment's 1186 over in column I again, but you did your budget, and I love this field right here, and I went through a bunch of different loan amortizations and I came up with this one because it has this optional extra payment. And if you notice, column F is all zero right now. You can actually put directly towards the principal an extra $125 a month. It filled it in in column F. Obviously your payment's gonna go up 125 extra but then your total interest comes down and you actually make less payments because you're throwing 125 at it every time. I'm gonna take that back out with a delete. If you randomly can put in extra payments, again, I'm making this up, you get a big bonus in November. There's a $3,000, you can punch that right in right there. I'm gonna go back and make it zero. Anyway, thank you for your time. Feel free to download this. Feel free to also, if you would, not only subscribe to my YouTube channel, if you go to my homepage, chrismenardtraining.com, I do a lot of webinars in Excel, Word, PowerPoint. Just put, give me your first name and your email. At the most, you'll get two or three emails from me a month. I'm also working on a newsletter, a technology newsletter. Thank you. Have a great weekend.